Your Majesty at your service. Welcome to Therapian Talks. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of my podcast, Reset and Evolve. On the last episode of Fair Queen Talks, I spoke about growing in greatness together. And one of the ways that I feel at this moment we can do that together is by resetting ourselves and allowing us to evolve. This episode is going to be a tool for you to tap into your own greatness. And for me, one of the ways that I've been able to progress and evolve as a person is by putting my thoughts, ideas and inspiration onto paper to truly understand where I'm at in life. So in the last few days, my phone became overwhelmed and stopped working. To start it up again, I had to reset it. And this is where the inspiration came for this episode. By default, I feel that the lockdown reset my life and the lives of many. So what's the point of resetting your life? Resetting your life gives you an opportunity to sit down and understand what your life says about you and where you are heading. I do recognise that all of us are born into different situations. However, I'm a firm believer that we as individuals should and can flourish no matter what circumstances we are in. Our circumstances have the power to shape us to become the best version of us. Our life situations don't define us. Our choices and decisions determine our outcome. When we accept the lives that we are born into, we will have a greater respect and understanding of what we need to do to make sure that we create a better legacy for future generations. The person that you were before the lockdown is in the past. Who are you now during the lockdown? And who will you choose to be after the lockdown is over. At this point, you may ask, Fair Queen, how can I actually reset my life? I have so many things to worry about. As your Fair Queen, it's important for me to admit to you that life is not a fairy tale, but you are the lead character of your life story. And every fairy tale ends with happily ever after. If you hang on to that thought of happily ever after every day, you're going to make choices that will lead you to become happier. And my wish is that no matter what challenges you face, you will always have that happiness in you. So resetting your life does not happen in one second. It will take you time to make time to sit down and truly reflect Today I'm going to give you three steps in how to do this and in these steps I will give you some tasks. So get your pen and paper ready because you're going to have to note this down. So step one, you need to ask yourself this question, how do I spend my time? In this task I want you to make a list of what a week would look like for you before the lockdown. After you've done this, I want you to make a list of what you have done during the lockdown. If you're honest in making a list, you will notice patterns and habits. The more thorough the list, the deeper the analysis you can make. When you look at what you do for 24 hours each day for a week, you can spot behaviours that you should either stop or improve. Making a list displaying your life before and after the lockdown can give you a greater perspective of both your public and private life. The way you spend your time is a reflection of your priorities and the things that you give importance to. Once you've completed this task, I want you to make a list of how you would like to spend your time during and after the lockdown. And I want you to work towards that list and you'll see that every day will bring you more joy and allow you to actually achieve the things that you wish you could. Are you ready for step two? So in step two, I want you to ask yourself, what are the lies I tell myself? Insecurities are the lies we tell ourselves that ruin our self-esteem, ruin our self-confidence, destroy our self-worth, and make us feel sorry for ourselves 
because we don't feel good. For this step, I want you to go to the nearest mirror, whether this is in your bedroom, your bathroom, you may have one in the hallway, wherever it is. I have a quote for you, again, from my dear, dear old mother. My mum always says that the mirror will tell you the truth. Now, I've interpreted this as the mirror will reflect your image and your mind. This truth that you'll see or feel in the mirror can also actually be a lie. Anything that your mind tells you that leads you to feeling insecure are the things that you need to write down for this task. Once you've completed that, I want you to delve into why you think those statements are true. How do those statements make you feel? And whether those statements give you confidence. If it doesn't give you confidence, it's not true. And don't allow yourself or others to validate lies that you've told yourself are true. When we confront our negative thoughts, we allow positive thoughts to take over. This will not only make you happier, but it'll also make those around you happier because confidence is radiant. You understand me? Good. So for step three, I need you to ask another question. What is my legacy going to be? Now imagine you're turning a hundred years old. What kind of person will you be? Who will you have around you? What would have you contributed to your local community and your world? Having a vision of your legacy will shape the decisions you make each day. Your legacy is personal to you, but ultimately will be of benefit to those around you. How will you be remembered when your time on earth is over? Legacy is not just about the life we have lived. It is also about the life that we are living. Aim to be a living legend. Be accountable to yourself and work towards your goals. So for this task, I want you to commit to yourself and do this silly thing, which is writing to yourself through email or letters. You can do this daily, weekly, monthly or yearly, whatever suits you. The first thing I want you to write to yourself is about the person you are today. And who you want to become. Then I want you to add, why do you want to become this person? As you repeat this pattern each time you write to yourself, you will notice progress and greater self-confidence and a commitment to your dreams. The tasks I've given you today, step one, step two, step three, have no deadline. This will all depend on your desire to become the best version of you. So for you to just remember the steps. Step one is how do I spend my time? Step two, what are the lies I tell myself? And step three, what is my legacy going to be? At the end of each episode, I address the queendom. By default, the lockdown has given us all an opportunity to reset. By resetting, you can regain control of your life ahead. Stop and think. The way you spend your time reflects your priorities. The mirror reflects the state of your mind. Invite positivity in your life. Commit to yourself and your legacy. By resetting your life, it will allow you to evolve. Social distancing can bring you closer to yourself and allow you to become the best version of you. Don't wait for this lockdown to be over, to reset and evolve. Tap into your greatness today. Thank you so much for listening to Fair Queen Talks. See you next time.